Hey folks, um, I have another beer from Treehouse. Surprise, surprise. This is the their uh, part of their like um, family malt series, or uh, is it family malt series, or uh, just like their 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 you know independent malt. Um, local local malteries this one's from blue ox malt house and all of these have the same exact um same exact hops in them this is from uh lisbon falls in maine blue ox malt house american ipa picked this up the other day they had one more and i was like they, they had a mix pack at one point and then it was sold out and i didn't really want to buy two four packs so maybe if i go back i'll uh i'll check that one out Each bass contains the same combination of hand-selected American-grown hops. Yeah, I don't think they actually say the hops involved, but um, this beer looks gorgeous. They, they all look really pretty. Um, the other the other two I did was was um, Thrall Family Malt and Hudson Valley. Um, this looks really gorgeous in a glass. It's got like this like really yellow, nice yellow hue. Is that inside the glass? No, it's just on the outside. Um, yellow, bright, bright yellow hue. It looks really pretty on camera. I got about a finger of head. Still about a finger ahead. Um, it's gonna nose. It's like almost like orange lemon sorb, some type of citrus sorbet. With a little bit of like grassiness, like lemon grassiness. Yeah, just like lovely, like vanilla sorbet kind of like not vanilla, sorry, lemony sweet citrusy sorbet kind of vibe going on maybe even lemon lime i'm trying it cheers so if you didn't watch the other videos i didn't explain i should have explained in the beginning well the purpose of this is same same hop character different malts right so that they can showcase the malts and the malt like it's like the last the malt really shines through these beers. This this is the same exact case. It is fantastic. There's this grainy, fluffy uh, cereal vibe all the way through, kind of like crackery malts, and then the hops that like the flavor profile is a little bit what was on the nose. That you get that like the like the citrusy sorbet punch kind of sweetness, tanginess. And then it kind of bitters off at the end, like this really dank, resiny bitterness. When I'm talking, it's still kind of lingering on my tongue, but that like lemon lime sorbet character is still kind of playing there too. I don't know what more to say about this beer. Uh, it's hard to like pick my favorite. Like the other two, I I, I did back to back, so it was a little bit easier. But this this this, this one's hitting so well for me. Um, I don't know, but anyways, let's read the back of the can. See if there's any taste in those. Blue Ox Malt House is one in a series of pale hoppy beers that feature malted barley exclusively from local boutique malters across across America. Each batch contains the same combination of hand selected hops. I mentioned that. Uh, for this iteration of American IPA, we've utilized grain from Blue Ox Malt House, a main base maltster, continuing the hands-on art of floor malting. A steward of this age-old process, Blue Ox festers in interconnected relationship between farmers, malters, and brewers. Like hops, malted barley conveys significant terroir unique to each region in processing philosophy. We hope you enjoy the journey of this series as much as we do. Six and a half percent. Should have mentioned that. Um, it's awesome. Uh, if you guys are, if they have the mix pack, it's a no-brainer. No brainer to get it because it's a, it'll be a fun experiment for your palate. Like if you're trying to figure out like what is like, and I said this in the other reviews. Everyone, every brewery ha, ha, has done a hop series, right? Like this is our beer. This is the same ingredients except we put a different hop in it, right? It's very rare. You don't really see this too much per se. So this is a, a like a, a fun little flip side of that. So like if they have the mix pack, highly recommend getting it. Like it would be fun just kind of see like what's this beer taste like with different malt. Like you kind of you'll get a better idea of. Uh, of what malt really brings to beer, because a lot of people are like, oh, the, the hops is what brings to beer. It's like no, the malt, the malt is just up is as as big of a component as as the hops. Um, so, anyways, down in the comments, if you had Treehouse's American IPA featuring Blue Ox Malt House in Lisbon Falls, Maine, what do you think of it? What do you think of Treehouse in general? What do you think of this series? Which one's your favorite one so far? There's one more. I forgot that what that one was. Um, but yeah, NerdSense.net, Instagram, Facebook. If those are your things, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the notification bell so you don't post new videos. And I'm Sean. This is NerdSense. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>